Какво е па за интерпретация? How is it interpretation? Идея да ни потребна, да не оставам само по Кай. Did you just say? Как ще не снимаш? You just tell what kind of images you have. Well, if you share something with a client usefully, it would be a metaphor, a series of images and offerings. No, it should be Nika e uspešna radi del klientom, bi to bila metafora, neka serik kot neko darovanje, poludba. Because the intuition is correct, the mind's interpretation of it is always less than perfect. Kaj ti intuicija je prezna in interpretacija uma je vedno manj kot poludba. So it's a respectful offering to the images that enter the mind. And how they use the images may be different than you expected. And how they use the images may be different than you expected. And how they use the images may be different than you expected. Some similarity of image is enough shared reality. Sometimes a word may appear that the therapist doesn't understand what the client does. Sometimes it may be a little bit of a word that the therapist doesn't understand what the client does. One time when I might have said, look upon your problem from higher self, I said, look upon your problem from Jana. Nekoč, ko sem bi lahko rekel, da pogledajte na svoj problem tega višjega jaza, sem lahko rekel, pogledajte na svoj problem. The seventh jana, I had never heard of a jana. The sedme jane, sicer nekoč nisem slišal, kaj jana pravzaprave. And the person had done a type of Buddhist meditation, which has nine janas, and the highest he which was the seventh. In človek je naredil vrste budistično meditacijo, ki ima devet tega jana, In najviše, kar je on do sedaj prišel, prispel, je bila sedna. One time I spoke of the excitement of the race, with racing cars. Nekot sem govoril o razboljivosti dirkanja z dirkalniki. And how the driver was motivated by the fear of the audience. In kako voznika motivira strah publike okoli drikalne proge. And, you know, the client fully appreciated the metaphor because the client had written rating cards. In klient je polno razumel metaforo tega, ker klient je bil voznik drikalnika. I've never been a rating card in my life. Ja, sam nikoli nisem bil voznota in drikalnika. It's like the rating cards were talking. Kako, ker da bi govorili drikalnika. You just let the words come. Samo se potrite, da besede pridejo? No. Ne. Because just letting the words come, rubbish could arrive. Ne, kaj ti, če samo prepustite besedem, da prispejo, potem lahko prispejo tudi na vlaka. Prispejo tudi na vlaka. Yeah, that's called channeling, just letting the words come. Temu je se če kanelira. Analiziranje. Kaj ti lahko bi da kako je? And channeling usually is spirits that want to feed by telling them what they want to hear. In kaneliziranje je po navadi duhovi, ki si želijo hraniti, s tem, da povejo ljudem to, ki si ljudje želijo slišati. So there must be a finely focused intention. Mora obstajati nekaj zelo dobro fokus, nekaj zelo dobro fokusiran na men. And then more. You should have put him in the pillow. And if I say yes, and the client's head goes no. She has to be more than um yeah in no can't do it now. It's no. Put him in it. Just letting the words come is dangerous. So the small to speak the beside the pillow of toy never. Looking at the client, what words come is safe. That you get the observation of the client, and we think of putting the beside the. 
most people just writing words are looking at their words, their images, their interpretation of images. I want to say that um, a Paris integration. And I selected for a demonstration subject one where everyone in the room would completely imagine incorrectly what the two parts were. Yeah, the client said, I would like to travel to China. On the other hand, the airplane is very old. So, of course, everyone in the room assumed he had an airplane phobia. No, he didn't. Uh, most people think you don't know which physical airplane you'll be traveling on. So they guessed he would not know the airplane is old. The fact is he knew which airplane and it was old. Not only that, the last time he flew in that airplane, one turbine exploded. And by some miracle and pilot brilliance, it landed on an army base in Alaska on one engine. As the plane descended, his mind was filled with a fear of dying in the United States without a visa. In the reality was exactly as the imagination. Well, he lived, but no person in the airplane was allowed to go to the supermarket or anywhere off the army base because they didn't have visas. And the passengers included the president of Brazil. In Sorry, Mr. President, no visa, no supermarket. Yeah, it's the United States without a visa. Just like the imagination is reality. Yeah, so because they were building a new airplane, in fact it was already built, but the airplane was currently in the United States being uh, fitted out by the CIA. Because you cannot have a presidential airplane in Brazil unless the CIA has fitted their microphones and transmitters. There was going to be one more trip in the old airplane. Well, they weren't going to spend money renovating the other engine for one flight. No, so we don't have to worry about the other engine for one flight. 